and welcome to my channel. I'm Nomakaya Monaheng. If you are new here, welcome. I hope you'll be staying and learning with us. To my returning subscribers, thank you very much. As you read from the description, today we'll be doing a fabric haul as well as a bit of get to know me. I've learned how to sew from my mother as well as the internet. With my mother, really, it started when I was still young. She will call me to come and put in a thread for her. And then when she went to the fabric stores, she will take me with. So my interest started to grow from there. And I also had interest of sewing for my own family like she did. I started making small projects for myself. And I've also done a couple of floating items for myself which I'll be sharing with you right now. So there's three items that I've done before. The first one is the jumpsuit. As a winter season, I wanted something that was warm and a bit thick. And then I made it from my pajama pants. That was the bottom part of the jumpsuit. And then the top, it was just a square with strips on and it was done. And then the second project was these matching jumpsuit dress that I did for me and my daughter. So I love sewing projects for me and her, especially if we are going to events. With this one, it was a conference and then we wanted to match and it was easy and simple to do. And then my third project, it's the dress that I'm wearing now that I love so much. So I was going to my friend's wedding and I decided to sew something for myself. When I sew this dress, my sewing skills we improved a lot. If you look at it, it's a flare dress. It flows like that. I use a circular skirt pattern for the bottom. And then for the top part, it's a normal basic bodies. And then the hands, this is also a circular pattern. So this is how I looked on the day. So from my previous videos, I just did small project. From now on, we'll be going into basic sewing of clothes as well as pattern making. Pattern making is very important because you get to save on material and the garment will come at the correct size as well as the shape of your body. So let's get into the fabric call. So to start off, I'll be showing the different fabrics that I have as well as the different projects I'll be doing on each fabric. So please comment down below and let me know which tutorial you'll be most interested in. Let's get into it. To start off, this is a super African wax material. It looks like that. It's a beautiful bright print. I would like to do a shot on this one so look forward to that. And then certain, 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 certain material. As I've shared in my previous video, is that certain is very good for your face as well as your hair. And from this fabrics, I'll be making certain bonnets for my clients. They've ordered this. It's the previous one that I have on my videos. Just the difference that with these ones that I'll be selling, they will be adjustable. So this is the certain materials that I have. It comes in different colors. Like I've said before, certain is good for your hair as well as for your skin. So this material is very good quality and it's also stretchy. Next up, I've got cotton fabrics. The first one is this curtain. It's turquoise green in color. And then the second cotton is this one. I will be making a tote bag from these two materials. So definitely look forward to that. And then to make the bag, I will also need this material that is called interfacing. So this is an iron-on interface. I will put together with the cotton so that the bag takes a nice shape and it becomes hard and lasts for long. So in the tutorial, I will explain more. My next fabric is this nice craft lace. So this one, I will be making a lace kitten for my daughter's bedroom. So if you can look, I hope it's clear, you can see the crushed material. And then 
The fourth one is this material. It's a stretchy fabric. I love it so much because it's flowery. It cools for summer. So from this material, I will probably do a skit or a dress from it. So yeah. And then the last material that I've got is this polyester nude pink. I would love to do a circular pillow that will look nice and durable that will last for long. The bottom of the polyester looks like this. So it's a very soft polyester material. And then you can go to a fabric store and not get your supplies. Like I said, we'll be going into pattern making. So I got this ruler for now that I'll be using for making my patterns and also for those circular shapes. This ruler I got it for 41 rand. And then I also got a bit of supplies. This is a machine oil. Um, this is a tape for the lace kitten that we'll be making. And then this is elastic for the satin bonnet. And we'll be using this to adjust them. I also got some safety pins. They always come handy for your first aid kit or when I need to turn around my swings. You will see with some of the tutorials. Some needles. You always need needles. So I bought some needles as well. And bobbins. I will also do a tutorial how to put bobbins into your sewing machine. And that is all from the fabric haul. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below of the tutorial that you are looking forward to. And then don't forget to share. And if your notifications are still off, please turn them on so that you know next time when I upload a video. Thank you so much. Hashtag Let's Sew with Kay.